This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. Who's that? I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Of course. Helping you out would be an honor. Revelio. Some students believe that a wish made over the well of four beasts, whether near the thrust the thrustral, griffin, chimera, or hippogriff, will come true for those for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. That's cool. Is that real or is that a myth? Hello everybody! Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I am Faith the Flaming Flamingo. And I believe we're gonna go talk to nearly headless Nick. Nope, Incendio. Not. There we go. No. Thank you. Revelio. No? Okay, I thought that, that would be one. We have already done it. Oh, I'm back. There's a chest. That's nice. I like chests. There we go. Oh. Well, that is definitely <laughs> not a normal button. Oh, alright. Well, that is a normal toilet. <laughs> yep, so is that one. Yep, that one checks out. This one? Yep. Alright then. Okay, the mirrors are really weird in this game. I they kind of show your beautification version. I shan't tell. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I don't think I need one. That thanks. Anyway. should ensure my victory she put a bow truck under my bed and i know it was her <laughs> she's looking for trouble that one oh. looking for it i want a bow truck someone loaned me a book on the international confederation of wizards i was looking forward to reading it i'd love a bow truck oh, they're so cute they're so cute oh um, yeah. oh. there we go that's it It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Yeah, I guess so. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, Maybe. I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing <laughs> a key ingredient. What's that? Uh, yeah, I really can't see what you blew up. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So... I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. Why? I was hoping well, you yeah, no. could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and okay. grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Um... Yeah, <laughs> secret passage? Right up my street! <laughs> Yeah. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. Mm -hmm. The passage mm -hmm. is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor <laughs> corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, can't I buy them for you instead? Couldn't you have someone buy the dry billywig stings? They're not for sale. And oh. you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is sure. through the secret entrance. We'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Excuse Gareth. Me. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Maybe. Maybe. 
I'll need to get those dried billy wigs, Steve. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me. A uh, one-eyed uh, witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Mm, possibly. Um, of course, Nick. Of course. You wanted to see sir me, Nicholas? sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Not ready. Wait. How do you know about the book and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't yeah, worry. Your secret's safe with me. Yeah, I totally t trust Nick. Anybody else trust uh, Sir Nicholas? Hey, buddy. Could you go a little bit faster, please? This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. Who's that? I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Of course. Helping you out would be an honor. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Ew. Sure, I guess so. Anything for you, Sir Nicholas. I beg your pardon? Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Oh, uh, that's sad. Ah, oh, I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's, it's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Rebellion. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Oh, right, we're at the Did kitchen. Did you say tickle the pear? Uh-huh. Yes, in the Sorry, hopefully we can get back to it. Por pear portrait. If one tickles the pear in this still-life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the Hogwarts kitchens. I'll wait right yeah, here. Good. Good. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Mm. Tickle the pear. I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Uh. Alright, well. Get in there. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. What Plenty could eat delicious want? food and want to find themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know how unfortunately Dobby is not here yet. <laughs> we'll have to wait a few years. Hello, you, sir. Look very, um, very similar, don't you? Oh, man. You guys have any rotten roast beef? I need some for a friend. Mmm, that smells glorious in here. Oh, uh, that fire's getting a lot of, out of hand. More apples. Oh. oh, yep, definitely grab one of those. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, here's some beef, but Rookie. it's not rotten. Hello, it's not rotten. can okay. you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Thank you. You have to thank them. Only polite. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we, um. Repair it. Oh, well, apparently not. Okay, then. I said it was down here. Ah, oh, there's a disgusting smell. Oh, yep. I must be getting close. That, that's it. Hello. Oh, a student? What a treat! Hi. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Oh, Welsh Sounds rabbit. lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick 
Listen, you didn't say. Please help yourself. Thank you. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. That's so sad. Do you conjure the food here? Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal yeah. exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are you restricted to certain foods? Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Oh, nice. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. You guys don't mind students being in here? Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, Students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, okay. but Finky doesn't mind. Well, it seems like they don't really There's mind, nothing period. that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. I will do that, of course. I love that house elves. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. I, no, uh, where, where did that turkey, I think it was, go? Where did it go? So cool. Oh, another treat. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Hello. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind hearted sort. Yeah. If that's your boss, heck yeah, man. Alright. Go meet Nick. Hey, Nick. Here's your beef. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Yeah. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless oh, ghosts okay. who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Mm -hmm. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan okay. is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Uh, wait. Well, okay. The beef wasn't for you? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is! Uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Yeah, I know. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. Okay. What will I do when we get there? What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Okay. Yeah, is this dangerous? Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. All right. Sounds intriguing. Very well. For sure. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. 
Oh, this is a great. Do stay behind him. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amset. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it was the head talking. Do they the talk to you like that? Oh, not all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. All right. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Um, well... we brought you a <laughs> gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. No oh, good. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jest. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the what least I can do for mortal? you for M mortal? bringing this putrescent <laughs> gift. Sound um... like he said model. Uh, sir, like there's another matter course. I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. This poor guy. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Okay, so we're trying to find now. oh map with floating candles. What? Uh, okay, so we need to cast Lumos. There's candles. Looks like candles across the bridge, and then a tunnel of sorts. All right. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. No. Best hang on to it for now. Definitely, definitely. A fine night for revelry. Ha. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Let me also. not for some reason. Hello. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? No. Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Already. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? I'm good. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Uh-huh. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Okay. Begin! Cast away until you find him. Where can I find Jackdaw's head? You'll have to play our game. Find him amongst the pumpkins five times and he's all yours. Those are the rules. What say you? 
Okay. Uh, why are you doing this? Time? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through uh, his paces. Okay. How did you lose your head? How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. Uh, okay. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. I see. Treason is such a strong word. But that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. I see. And the rules? Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. Sorry, I thought maybe if something... that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of okay. course, a mortal hold... Remember... Apparently he's very offended that I didn't get the first time. Incendio. Nope, that's here. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, hey, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Humphrey. Not my finest moment. Okay, apparently I got him once. Then I would be the one to clean up this mess. Oh. I'd do that too if I had a wand. And a body. And a body. I'm glad I would be the one to clean up this mess. Oh, again? Oh, okay. Oh, right. what fun! A sting is playing! Oh, what is playing? What? I found six gold. I could do that too if I had a wand. The end of body. Happy to be entertaining. I aim to please. Okay. I just need to find him once more. Well, you, he's still hiding. <laughs> Thank you. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. Oh. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. Oh, really? The pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Okay. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Okay. How did you steal from Peeves? How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. Oh, he has a me. penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Mm -hmm. I found them after he ran riot through the library. 
doubt he even noticed they were gone. Who cut off your head? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. light breeze. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Definitely. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Okay. And there he comes. <laughs> oh, I am level 14. Dang it, now I can't. It's kind of fun, but I would have liked a more... I don't know. Um, like I, w I would have liked it to be less random and more like uh, noticing something different about the pumpkin that the the head was in or something like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, all right, everybody, that is going to oh oh look, they're traveling heads. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> all right, everybody, that is going to be it for today. Um, in the next episode, we will go to um, to defense against the dark arts because we have to learn Expelliarmus. Um, and then maybe we'll get to the the um, one-eyed witch statue. Don't know yet though, because I don't know how difficult that will be to find. <laughs> So, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!